how are you doing so um, in this video i will explain um, the more concepts of credits um, and let's see uh, when i said like the snowflake credits are built uh, in seconds and there's a concept like what exactly it is in like minimum one minute so what we have to understand is like when you are uh, starting a, a compute warehouse uh, like a virtual warehouse uh, or resuming it like after shutting down it is getting resumed again or we are resizing it then it charges one minute to do that activity so how the time is actually calculated and what exactly it means like it charges minimum one minute and then it charges per second so for example you have a virtual warehouse which is which just ran for six seconds and then it went down so and it never came back again so but the snowflake will charge you for a minimum of one minute which is like 60 seconds so you will be charged for 60 seconds credits so whatever is the rate per second that is multiplied by 60 and that bill you will get this is the second scenario if you have a warehouse which started and it is running for 65 seconds you will be charged straight 65 seconds there is no complicated issue here but the the third scenario is so you have a virtual warehouse it is started it just ran for a one second and then it went down and then after some time it went it came back again for 30 seconds so the total time charged will be like minimum one minute it will start with because the warehouse is starting so that is 60 seconds and then it will charge you for 60 seconds more because it started it resumed again but it ran for 30 seconds but again it will charge you for a minimum of uh, 60 seconds so total it will charge you 120 seconds but if you see effectively your warehouse ran only for 31 seconds but in this scenario you will be charged 120 seconds let's see the another scenario where the warehouse ran for 60 seconds went down then came back up for one second then again went down and then again came back for 30 seconds so it will take 180 seconds because when the when the warehouse started for the first time it it has to charge minimum um, one minute but luckily it ran for 60 seconds so one minute comes here then it went down and then came back for one second and then went down so this one second is charged again 60 seconds because the warehouse resumed so it will charge you one one minute minimum and then it went down again and then came up for 30 seconds and then went down so effectively in this scenario your warehouse actually ran for like 91 seconds but you will be charged for a bill of 180 seconds and this is another scenario to explain uh, it's it's very similar to the previous one like it started one second then went down then resumed for 20 second and then uh, then came back again for 68 seconds so for the first one it will take 60 seconds it went down then again it resumed 60 seconds here so 60 plus 60 120 and then it was running for 68 seconds so then 180 and then eight more seconds because it is in the continuation so you will be charged 188 seconds so this is how the time is calculated for your uh, warehouses uh, when they are going like uh, down and then when they are getting started using the various scaling policies so uh, this is very important to understand that that's what it is meaning here minimum uh, one minute and then continue in seconds let's see some uh, examples uh, more how the uh, credit usage is actually done so uh, this is the example for uh, of a small size single cluster warehouse so which is running for two hours so it's a small size a small size means it just has two servers in a single cluster so what it does the rate is like two credit per hour so it's running continuously 
so for first hour it will be charged two credits for second hour it will be charged two credits more so total charge will be four credits so it's very plain vanilla case uh, where you don't have to really uh, understand the complicated calculations involved but it gets little complicated or you can say more more um, um, calculations comes into picture when we are checking the credit usage for the multi cluster warehouses so this is what we will cover here like few scenarios i will cover so when you have a multi cluster warehouse before i go to this example if you remember i have mentioned that when you create multi cluster warehouse you get these two modes auto scale and maximized so ma maximized is if you are creating a, a virtual warehouse which is multi cluster and it has the maximum say 3 so maximized means all the time 3 warehouses in that multi cluster warehouse will be running auto scale is it will go up and down based on the load or the concurrency like if the more users are coming snowflake will start more clusters if the load is less the clusters go down or the warehouses go down so it will be like flexible going up and down so let's understand this example here so we are having a small size multi cluster warehouse with the three warehouses and we are running it in maximized mode maximized mode means all the three servers are running continuously for 2 hours so let's see what happens for the warehouse 1 since it's a small size for the first hour warehouse 1 is charged two credits for the second warehouse 1 is charged two credits and same happens for warehouse 2 2 2 then warehouse 3 is charged two credits then two credits then total four so at the end of the day or at the end of the 2 hour the total credits charged are 12 so this is a this is how uh, the credit calculation runs but let's see if the mode is auto scale so auto scale what happens in auto scale as i told you based on the concurrency the uh, auto scale uh, shuts down the uh, warehouses in the multi cluster warehouses and brings up if there is a need so the scenario is such that that warehouse 1 is running continuously warehouse 2 runs continuously for the second hour only and warehouse 3 runs for 30 minutes during second hour so let's see how the credits are actually calculated for the billing so let's take the point number a where warehouse 1 runs continuously it's a small size a uh, warehouse which charges two credits per hour so you get two credits in the first hour two credits in the second hour total four credits for warehouse 1 now warehouse 2 runs continuously for the second hour only so warehouse 2 is not running in the first hour so zero credits but it is running full for the second hour so two credits warehouse 3 runs for 30 minutes during the second hour so first hour warehouse 3 is not running and warehouse 3 is running for 30 minutes in the second hour so if it runs for full hour it will charge like two credits but if it is running for half an hour then the credits will be one so when we add these like two hour bill for the credits it will come to total credit of seven seven credits so you can see the warehouse wise uh, warehouse wise you can see in the columns and the hour wise you can see in the rows so first hour total credits consumed were two second hour total credits consumed were five and uh, and the total are seven so one more example i would like to take for the sake of completeness um, for the resizing so what happens here is let's see the scenario this is an auto scale scenario where we might be using the standard or the economic uh, scaling policy to start or uh, get the server shut down based on the concurrency but let's understand the example here so uh, here i am taking a 3 hours example 
so warehouse one runs continuously it's a small size uh, then it is it is running for first hour two for second hour what happens at one hour and 30 minutes that this entire multi cluster warehouse is resized from small to medium so the small uh, warehouse rate is like two credits per hour but medium is four credits per hour so uh, so in the second hour hour for the warehouse one what is happening here is like for the first half of the hour it is running as small so small is like two credits per hour but it will run for say 30 minutes so one and for the next 30 minutes it is running as the medium and for medium the credit rate is four so for 30 minutes it's two credits uh, for 30 minutes so that's why this one plus two came into picture and for the third hour it is running as the medium warehouse that's why we have four so warehouse one after three hours is four plus three seven plus two is nine credits let's see the warehouse two so warehouse two there's no difference it's only running in the second hour and the third hour and so total is like seven here and you understood this i will explain this once more what is why this one plus two is coming into picture so if you see the second hour because as per the point number c multi cluster warehouse resized from small to medium at 130 hour it means from one from when the second hour started uh, so like first 30 minutes it was running as small so for small the credits are like two credits per hour but since it's running for 30 minutes so we add one and for the next 30 minutes it is running as the medium so for medium the full rate is four but the half rate is two hence one plus two and then four and then seven the warehouse three runs for 15 minutes in the third hour so it's it's never running in the first hour it's not running in the second hour but in the third hour it is running only for 15 minutes so the rate for medium is four credit per hour so it is running only for 15 minutes so which is like four by uh, four which is like uh, one one credit so total is like one so hence the total calculation of the credits consumed in three hours with the resizing is 17 credit i hope you liked it uh, it's a little bit uh, complicated just go through the video again and then you will get clarity like how we get the total uh, 17 credits consumed uh, thank you so much for watching i will see you soon